Back at it again, CodingPhase.com, guys. What's really good? Hopefully you guys are doing great. Hopefully you guys are doing amazing. You know me, I'm doing all right, okay? We out here uh, celebrating your boy's birthday party, right? I mean, it's not a birthday party, but birthday. You get what I'm saying? We out here chilling, top floor type shit. Um, just wanted to come in, give you guys a big shout out for every single one of you guys that told me happy birthday, show me some love. I really appreciate it. You know, you guys always lift my spirits up. So I really appreciate that. Um, I also wanted to let you guys know that yes, we still have that 50% off on codingphase.com. So take advantage. Okay. Before it's gone by Saturday it should be gone. Um, so take advantage on that. And for those of you guys that have taken the trading course guys go check out the new videos that i just dropped in there all of the new content um definitely you guys gonna learn a lot so far this week we already up six percent now some of you guys might say damn six percent six percent is nothing but to be honest with you okay what i'm teaching you guys inside of that course of the trading course is really showing you guys how to go and grow a small account when you have a small account the worst thing that you could do is taking a lot of risk with your capital. You want to go in, grow it to a certain point, and then once you have a certain amount of money in there, then from there you continue to um, take bigger plays. I'll give you a great example, right? If you go in and you make 5%, right, and you get used to the idea of making 5% every single day, right, with $1,000, that's like $50, right? When you do that with, you know, um, ten thousand dollars, right? Once you have that system set up, where you're like, okay, every single day I'm making from three to eight percent, ten percent, right? Some days might be more, some days might be less, but you're always profitable, right? What happens is, and you get used to this, when you go in, and you actually scale and get to a point where you take that risk and you say, well, now I've been able to grow this account to let's say three thousand, five thousand, ten thousand dollars, right? A $10,000 account and you're making 5% on that, that's $500 a day, all right? So again, that's what I'm trying to teach you guys inside of this trading course on how to do this properly. I'm telling you guys right now, I've been through it, right? I've, I've freaking lost money, I've made money, and I realized that it's not about trying to make $500 a day with a thousand dollars that means that every single day you're gonna have to make 50 percent of your initial capital that right there is gonna kill your account if you can consistently go in and make anywhere from three to ten percent at the end of the month you'll see your gains and you see how it actually goes in and builds up okay so again once you get to a point where you do have your capital at five, ten thousand, twenty thousand, right? And maybe you go in over the twenty-five thousand, and maybe you want to get into the point where you're doing a margin account, and you have a system where you're profitable by using this system of like, hey, let me try to just make three to five percent. Trust me, there's guys that is out here that have you know half a million dollar portfolio, a million dollar portfolio, and if on a day they make a thousand dollars, which is one percent, they're happy with that. Okay, when you're just starting, you see the percentages and you'll be like, man, $50, like that ain't gonna change my life. It's not gonna change your life, but what's gonna change your life is actually knowing how to be profitable. Okay, so that's what we're doing with that that course. So definitely go check it out. Um, link should be in the description of my last live stream. If you wanna go in and pre order that, it's 50% off on that. Um, if you can't find a coupon code for whatever reason, just email me, I'll send it to you. And, and you know, that way you could get in. For anybody that's a Diamond member, when you become a Diamond member, uh, you get access to this course and starting on January 1st. Anybody that wants to get in now uh, to be able to ask me questions as they're going through the course, you wanna have that, that first, you know, first uh, four weeks of interactions and me answering your questions and helping you out in this process of like, you know, setting up your account or, you know, what will be like your the best strategy for you. Maybe you are busy. Maybe you have a full time job. Like what will be like the best time for you or what you should be uh, trying to do and like come up with a plan for you. Definitely, you know, just uh, get the pre order. So that way, um, you know, you, you get access to me throughout this whole month and I could go in and help you out. You get what I'm saying? 
Shout out to 690, Rage 690. <laughs> goofy. <laughs> There's always some goofy right now, man. You know what, man? Find a tree, bro. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Shout out to wife. We out here in the telly. Right now, you somewhere under a tree. You get what I'm saying? So right now, I'm about to have a great day, bro. So yeah, it is what it is. There's always something, somebody, some random dude saying some goofy shit. Uh, shout out to Anthony. What's going on? Uh, Joe, enjoy your days. Definitely. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> now he just said some, some gay stuff. <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, Antoine Johnson, uh, Iverson, or Wattler says, happy birthday, Joe. May, may you be blissfully blessed, blissfully blessed and lots of health. Yes. Thank you for that, man. I appreciate it. Yes. That's what we want. We want health. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let me see what's going on. Uh, it's too late. Uh, let me see. <laughs> Anna, because it's too late to be this goofy. Yeah, bro. It's, it, it's just crazy, man. Right now, we're just chilling. Shout out to wifey. We out here. Um, she over here getting doled up. We about to go downstairs. You know what I mean? Uh, we um, in a hard rock. What the call shit? Yeah, Hard Rock. I don't care. Somebody could come come get me. So I could slap the shit out of you. <laughs> I wish somebody come in and be like, yo, come. <laughs> My wife is like, don't tell your location. I don't care. I'm in the streets. People know that. So it is what it is. Um, I don't have to hide from nobody. <laughs> let me see. Shout out to everybody in here. Uh, let me see. Hi, I'm new to the stream. Um is here to spread some positive vibe. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Uh, I can't stay in Django and you do full stack guys soon. Yes, I definitely do full stack. I focus mostly on PHP and Laravel. So um, that's like my favorite, right? Ruby on Rails. I come from the world of Ruby on Rails. So transition into PHP Laravel was pretty simple and pretty straightforward for me. So yeah, that's where, you know, that's what I will focus on, right? Uh, let me see. Shout out to everybody in here. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, yo, what it be? Happy birthday. Yeah, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, definitely. Guys, give me some good numbers, man. I'm about to hit the, the roulette table. So give me some good numbers. Let me see if you guys give me some good luck. See, I'll, I'll play the, the first 10 numbers that you guys give me. And, and and see how it goes. If if I have a great great day, I'll throw a bag for you guys um, later on. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure something out. <laughs> throw me some numbers in here. Every time I I go to the casino, I always ask you guys to give me a number. Y'all y'all give me luck. Y'all always come up with some good numbers. So let's see what you guys got. Uh, let me see Anna Court. I'm gonna hit you up so we can finalize those dates for the pod, bro. Yes, man. I've been trying to you know. Right now, I just been having so much stuff, bro. But yeah, we, we got to do it like a, a, a Thursday night, Sunday night, and we do that podcast, man. Shout out to Anarchode, guys. Go follow him. Go check him out on TikTok. Go check him out on, on Twitter. He's everywhere. So definitely uh, go show him some love, man. Uh, let me see. Is Laravel still the shit? Yeah, Laravel still legit, man. It's, it's always going to be legit because it's like it's a system that allows you to build fast because it provides you everything. So instead of you having to go in and, and you know, think about security, think about how you're going to build and structure your application. Like if you follow the Laravel way, like you got 90 percent of the work done already. OK. And then from there, it's just about the idea that you have and you start building it. That's it. You get what I'm saying? Uh, Rafael says, Joe, for email portfolio project, is it okay to use foundation for them? Uh, yeah, you could still use foundation. It's up to you. There's a lot of different tools. There's a, a Tailwind uh, framework. There's a, a MJML. There's templates that's out there that people already uh, use and they start with. So definitely um, you can go in and, and how you call this? And from there, you know, start, you know, start working, you know, like it doesn't have to be foundation. Like it doesn't have to be even MGML. Uh, 
just use what you what you want. You get what I'm saying? Let me see. Is WordPress still worth it in 2026? WordPress is always gonna be around, man. Believe it or not, it's one of those things. Is it's like a cockroach, man. Even with a dropping a, a nuke on on the world, there's still gonna be somewhere on a server or somewhere on a hard drive. You know, uh, freaking WordPress. So, <laughs> like, you can't kill WordPress, bro. And anything with PHP. PHP is like a the zombie that you can't kill, bro. Let me see, reading through here. I'm so jealous, I don't like frameworks because I prefer learning and building from scratch because it's more rewarding, but productivity, it, productivity is productivity is good, yeah. I mean, the truth is, bro, you get paid to, to solve problems, right? Sometimes we get into this idea that we gotta build everything ourselves. We don't have to build everything ourselves, okay? At all, right? That's something that we do it and we do it once, but the truth is that when a company comes in and says, hey, I need you to build me this, you got to use whatever is going to help you build that much faster. You know, sometimes I'll see people that back in the days, they used to do that like uh, job security coding where they will build everything from scratch and be like, whoa, I build this system. I build this, this and that. Nowadays, no one wants to have somebody come in and build something from scratch that takes them six months. Okay. Uh, Daniel Belfield signed up back as a Diamond member. Have fun. Make some money tonight. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, yeah, man, I appreciate it, Daniel. And for you to come back. Bro, check out um, the, the trading course, man. I'm telling you guys, like, there's a couple of you guys that's already... I'm, I'm looking at who's already completing the courses and, and well, the sections within the course. And... Um, yeah, I'm excited for you guys. I'm excited for what some of you guys is going to do with that. Again, this is not for everybody. You don't have to take it. Uh, I just think like it's important for you to know how to use these tools either for long-term investments or to do day trading. It's just it's important to know, right? It's like knowing how to read and write, to be honest with you. You know, this world right now, it, it, it really, it, you know, What's the word? What would be the perfect word for it? But revolves around the markets, right? Like there's shit that we'd be like, oh man, why this shit so expensive? Go check the market, right? <laughs> you know, oil might be more expensive. Gas might be more expensive. Man, I, I you know, why is gold so, so expensive? Well, check the markets. There's shit that's happening that if you don't pay attention to it, you know what I'm saying? Like, you'd be like, why is this shit so expensive? Like, I remember, like, years ago, like, my mom asking me, like, yo, why gallons of milk is so expensive now? And I'm like, check what's happening in the world. Oil is expensive right now. Like, gas is expensive, right? So, at the end of the day, somebody got to bring you that milk. <laughs> and that they got to put the, the price according to what the gas prices is. You know? So definitely pay attention to that. There was a lot of opportunities today in the market, man. Um, it's crazy because right now I'm doing this small account challenge on this uh, trading course that we have on Coding Phase uh, to show you guys. Like I'm literally like restricting myself. Like I'm not even trading heavy. I'm not going hard. I'm not trading on, on any stocks that's like very sp speculative or like, you know, that could really go by a lot. I'm going for the things that... You know, as a beginner, you should be going for uh, so you could be profitable, right? And at the end of the day, like today was crazy. There was one, I think, what was the name? I think SMX that went from, I think, like $50, $60, went to $197, yo. That shit is crazy, man. Moments like that, that, that only happens every month or every two months, okay? But when that's why it's important to be in the market for those moments because that's like almost like three times whatever you you have. So if you caught it at the right time, and even when it dipped, and you caught that dip again, and you just ride that shit till till after hours, bro. People killed it today. A lot of people made bread. You get what I'm saying? 
Shout out to everybody in here. What AI software do you suggest uh, to learn for 2026? Um, let me see. Du -du -du -du. What AI software do you suggest? Hmm, that's a good question. I mean, there's a lot of tools out there. I mean, of course, you got to get comfortable using ChatGPT. Uh, of course, I would say learn how to use a cursor, right, if you are a developer. Um, definitely learn how to use automation tools like uh, Maker.com, NAN, right, setting up uh, automation flows with like Zapier. Like, get used to that because that's where everything is, is going towards to, you know what I mean? Like, there's so many things that people back in the days will just build from scratch, and now you don't have to build it from scratch. You could go in and set up all these automations in less than five to 10 minutes, right? So I know someone would say, damn, but so then what's going to happen to our jobs as developers? Well, it's going to evolve, right? You know, there's people that, that in reality don't have to build everything from scratch. And um, shout out to my, my boy, uh, Ruan Marino. Uh, if you guys don't know who that is, go search on, on YouTube, search Ruan, R-U-A-N, and search SEO with that keyword, and his channel will pop up. He has a very successful agency in Connecticut, and one of the things that you know he told me a couple of years ago, he, they basically build websites for small businesses in Connecticut, and he's one of the top agencies over there, and they use this software called, and not software, but it's like a web application that allows you to build websites. It's a CMS system, similar to WordPress. It's called Duda, right? I know it sounds crazy, Duda. So search Duda, and they use that for all their clients, right? Now, he could go ahead and hire a full stack developer to go in and build every single website from scratch and, and build them like a full CMS system, et cetera. But they use Duda for every website, which allows them to go in and crank out websites and web pages for those businesses that need to be ranking on Google way faster than most people can do, right? And, and that's where we're going right now. You know what I mean? Like my wife was just talking to me about her job today uh, where she's using Salesforce and she's like, yeah, like there's this girl who works in her company that does, uh, it's a Salesforce administrator. So she's like, yo, that's something that I want to lean on to, you know, now go in, learn the skills and get my certification to become a, C a CRM specialist set with Salesforce, right? But guess what? Those guys that that's using Salesforce, they're not coding. Like they're using the system that's already within Salesforce because there's different layers, right? You have the, let's say, let's call it what it is, the engineers. The engineers are the ones building the tools, okay? The developers are the ones that's using those tools to solve problems, right? And then there's the administrators, right? So an administrator is like somebody who could work with Salesforce. They don't have to code, right? But they basically do the day-to-day -day stuff for that company, right? The engineer goes in, creates the software that's, so, you know, Salesforce. The developer goes in and creates the experience or maybe creates uh, the, you know, the front end of what the user sees, but the engineer is the one that creates the tools. So there's levels to this shit, right? Um, I think like now with everything that's happening in the world, we're going to see that, that there's going to be a big gap between all three of them, right? And not everyone needs to be an engineer. Not everyone needs to be a developer.